It doesn't look like your average EV, because it ain't your average EV. That's the message Dodge is sending with the 2024 Charger Daytona, the world's first electric muscle car. Built on the new STLA Large or Stella Large unibody platform, the Dodge Charger Daytona is what parent company Stellantis describes as a multi-energy vehicle, meaning we will see both electrified and gasoline versions. Here's a high-level view. STLA Large or Stella Large will support electric, hybrid, and internal combustion powertrains for Stellantis. Dodge and Jeep in North America will see the first applications of Stella Large, followed by Alfa Romeo, Chrysler, and Maserati. Between 2024 and 2026, Stellantis plans to launch eight vehicles across the five brands with the Stella or STLA Large platform. Stellantis engineers and designers can better tailor STLA large vehicles according to the target customer's desires, be it a luxurious off-roader like a Jeep Grand Wagoneer or a monstrous muscle car like the Charger Daytona. Key vehicle parameters like the wheelbase, length, width, height, and ground clearance can be adjusted accordingly. And with respect to suspension and powertrain objectives around ride, handling, and comfort, as described by Stellantis, STLA or Stella Large will leverage the latest high-strength materials, is optimized for weight and rigidity, and will cater to both transverse and longitudinal engine mounting configurations. With regard to electrification, the STLA Large unibody platform will be available in both 400-volt and 800-volt architectures, with the 2024 Charger Daytona utilizing both. That's the high-level overview of Stella or STLA Large, now a closer look for the world's first electric muscle car. Standard with all-wheel drive, the 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona will utilize the 400-volt Stella Large architecture. The system incorporates a high-voltage battery pack, a dual-integrated charge module, and both front and rear electric drive modules, often written as EDM for short. The front EDM employs front wheel and disconnect, improving range and efficiency, while the rear EDM includes a mechanical limited slip differential to increase traction and overall performance. Performance. Both front and rear EDMs feature a three-in-one architecture, that's the inverter, gearbox, and motor, to generate 335 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. The 2024 Charger Daytona RT has a standard direct connection stage one upgrade kit that adds 40 horsepower for a total of 496 horsepower while the Scat Pack has a Stage 2 kit that provides 80 extra horsepower for a total output of 670 horsepower. Although details were slim during the Dodge Charger Daytona's reveal on March 5th of 2024, an SRT Banshee is in the works and that will utilize the Stella Large 800-volt architecture. In the meantime, Dodge says it expects the Scat Pack will have a 0-60 to 60 time of 3.3 seconds and run the quarter mile in about 11.5 seconds. For comparison, the 2023 Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye with a 6.2 supercharged Hemi will hit 60 in 3.6 seconds. So the Charger Daytona is faster 0-60, to 60, although the quarter mile time of the SRT Hellcat Red Eye is better at 10.6 seconds versus 11.5 seconds. The Charger Daytona has a 100.5 kilowatt nickel cobalt aluminum battery pack with a peak discharge rate of 500 kilowatts. It's what Dodge calls the battery electric version of high octane fuel. Despite all the chatter around the EV powertrain, the Charger Daytona will be available with gasoline engines. You may recall how in 2022, Stellantis announced its Hurricane engine, a three liter twin turbo inline six with V8 levels of power. Key features of the Hurricane include two low-inertia, high-flow turbochargers, each feeding three cylinders, dual overhead camshafts with fully independent variable valve timing, and plasma transfer wire arc coating in the cylinder bores to help create a low-friction wear surface. The spray and coating process leaves more aluminum between the cylinders for better heat transfer and engine cooling. The Hurricane has two versions, a standard output optimized for fuel economy with cooled exhaust gas recirculation and a high output version tuned for performance. 
Jeep and Ram have already made use of the Hurricane engines, and Dodge will do the same in 2025 for the Charger Daytona. They'll be known as the six-pack engines, the standard output version creates 420 horsepower, and the high output version produces 550 horsepower. Both six-pack chargers are standard with all-wheel drive, although the system can be disengaged. You can also get freaky with the Power Shot button, Donut Mode, and Drift Mode. The Power Shot button is on the bottom right hand of the steering wheel, standard for RT and Scat Pack. Pushing it unleashes 40 more horsepower for 15 seconds. Exclusive to the Scat Pack are Donut Mode and Drift Mode. Donut Mode allows the vehicle to spin only the rear wheels and then rotate around its front wheels without the traction control interfering. Drift Mode has three driver selectable slip angle levels. Torque becomes rear axle bias while the front axle maintains the pre-selected slip angle. Front dampers become softer, rear dampers stiffen to create an oversteer condition. Other fun features include line lock, launch control, performance pages, and a new race prep feature that cools or preheats the battery to support different racing applications. Meanwhile, the track package option for the Daytona Scat Pack includes the most extensive braking setup ever found on a Dodge vehicle, consisting of 16-inch Brembo vented rotors and six-piston front and four-piston rear fixed calipers. The brake-by-wire eBoost intelligent braking system optimizes pedal feedback and braking force. On the inside, it's a mix of classic and modern. The instrument panel has lines and textures that date back to the 1968 Dodge Charger, but the technology inside is anything but vintage. The 12.3-inch Uconnect 5 infotainment touchscreen supports TomTom Tom navigation, Sirius XM, Amazon Alexa, wireless Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and will even locate potential charging stations. Other highlights of the interior include the 64-color attitude adjustment ambient lighting, the 9-speaker Alpine stereo, and the pistol grip shifter. What do you think of the 2024 Dodge Charger Daytona? Are you a fan of the Fratzonic exhaust? Would you go with a 2-door or a 4-door? What color would you like? What do you think of the STLA Large or Stella Large platform? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more videos like this. In Detroit, on behalf of Automoblog, I'm Carl Anthony.